It's absolutely bleak out here. It is so grim. I've never really known the weather like this, but listen, we're picking a little bit of purple sprouting broccoli, but these beautiful heads of PSB, one of my favorite all-time brassicas. Hello food tubers, my name's Gil Meller. We're down at River Cottage HQ, Park Farm. Today I'm gonna to make a special recipe for you, tarama salata with fresh purple sprouting broccoli, preserved lemon and smoked paprika. This is purple sprouting broccoli, simply boiled with olive oil, salt and pepper. It is the most wonderful veg. We're gonna use it as a bit of a dipping veg today for the tarama salata. This is the roe here, it's been salted and cold smoked. Whenever we're preparing fish, we'll always save the roe, we'll never throw it away. You're looking about five, six quid, and you can get it from any decent smokehouse. So we've devised our own recipe for tarama salata. I think it's fairly standard. You take the, the eggs out of the roe, and they're either pounded up with, with good bread and olive oil and garlic, or you put them in the food processor. We take this lovely roe here, put it on the board, and what we're going to do is just split it open with the tip of a sharp knife. Like so. And this is what we want inside. This is the, this is the most amazing, well-flavoured filling. I'm just going to carefully take this out of here. Okay. I'm going to pop that into the bowl of the food processor. This is a freshly baked loaf of very good sourdough, which the boys have just done in the kitchen. It's going to be soaked in milk to soften it. I'm going to take the crust off there. And we'll just tear that up into little bits, pop it in this bowl. So we've got two slices of sourdough, crust removed in this bowl. I'm going to take about 200 mils of whole milk, pour that over like that. So this has had about two or three minutes. What we do is take that in our hands, squeeze out the excess milk, and that goes into the food processor with the roe. Okay, so we're going to take a clove of garlic, take the papery skin off, and then we're going to take about half of that, just very thinly sliced. And that's going in with the roe and the bread. So a little bit like making mayonnaise, we're gonna add the oil in a steady trickle with the machine running. So we're adding equal parts sunflower oil and olive oil. If you add just olive oil, it's gonna be a bit too strong, a bit too peppery. So you meet in the middle. A Little bit of lemon juice. We want to avoid the pips going in. We'll just give that one more little pulse. Come on to the broccoli. Trim off any yellowing leaves. So we've got a pan of water brought up to the boil. Good pinch of salt. And then we'll just drop the broccoli in. Oh, it's still hot, brother! Hello, Hello. 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 All right. Yeah. Good. It smells good. Nice and warm. So this is the smoked pollock row. We've got sourdough bread in there, olive oil, a little bit of garlic, oh. lemon juice. It really is the business. So we're upping the smokiness. Which you'll like. I like it. Good. Smoked paprika. Ooh, it's not cayenne, right? It's not, no. <laughs> We've got our beautiful broccoli here. A little bit of preserved lemon. That punchy, salty little kick works really nicely with the, with the tarama salata. Last little thing, olive oil. Fennel tops. I couldn't, I don't think it. it could get any better. You need to hoik it in there, mate. Uh -huh. mm. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel here on FoodTube, and then you can tell us how you might even try and better that. I'm not sure it's possible, though, mate. It's bloody lush. Yeah.